to us about the extension. Um, you are aware the kind of um, difficulties security operative had in enforcing compliance. Are we going to be seeing a different strategy this time around? Well, that is true, just as evidenced by what you've seen this afternoon. Uh, we've reinforced and we've re-strategized, uh, knowing that there are challenges within the next two weeks. Uh, we assure you that uh, strategies adopted will not only ensure that uh, the lockdown order stays, will also ensure that adequate security is provided for citizens of the FCT. I see people, we're seeing the military coming in in full force here. We'll be asking you, why are we having, uh, your men have been on ground since the military joining at the late hour, but now we are seeing full force military, military police, and Navy, Air Force, and all combined team joining you in this operation. Can you update us there, on that? There has always been a synergy between security agencies and the FCT, and this is all part of it. Uh, what you've seen is what we call show of force, it's something that we normally embark on in terms of... Uh, when the need arises for us to heighten security around uh, the FCT. So it's not an unusual occurrence. Okay. Uh, My word of advice is uh, citizens should be well aware of their health and the hazards that this new this, uh, COVID-19 poses to the health. Uh, they should take their time to ensure that they comply with the terms of the lockdown order. Uh, that is one of the ways in which, uh, the principal way in which they can keep themselves healthy. Uh, ours you. is to ensure com compliance. A few people may be recalcitrant, will ensure that there's compliance so that they don't put others at risk. Okay. Finally, um, the minister of the FCT complained bitterly about um, non-compliance in the suburbs and area councils. Are we going to be seeing a renewed effort to ensure an enforced compliance in the area council? I thought at the beginning of this uh, interview I told you that we've re-strategized and uh, we're taking every strata, every facet of the FCT into consideration when it comes to the lockdown. Thank you very much, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Your inside your bedroom. 
this is an ex already. I don't even know that. I didn't present it to you now. Even when you stopped me, I told we you. We saw I was it inside. I saw an ex inside your bedroom. Uh, okay. And you allowed it to be inside your bedroom. And you oh, cannot deny you don't know it was inside your bedroom. Hope you know that. This is for their own. No. See, this, uh, this thing, eh? at least even if we are doing our work, let's get some space. Uh, you don't need to. You are not answering our questions. You are not answering our questions. Why you not delete this mess? Everyone has to blame us. No, okay, we can't come and confirm. We have been here six months. We cannot drive one person. When we have cars, they have to come and confirm one tag. The tag is photocopy. Thank you very much, sir. Fine, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Uh, sorry, sir. We have a, a staff of yours with a fake pass. When the 15 is, uh, I've been very good as you have seen on this spot here. Every one of us here, Mr. Kyle Day, Mr. Peter, I, and the team, we really had a very, a very tough time here. Uh, what we have really seen very annoying here is the alarming rate of fake, fake tag, fake pass tag. Very much alarming. We pack so many of them. Uh, some laminated. Uh, some other ones are there. So many, so so many fake, fake uh, uh, tag here, clone tag here. Very many fake tag here, and uh, we've moved all of them uh, to the office of the police commissioner. Really, very sad one here. You see the volume of traffic of people going here. Many are not on exemption list. Some are even crying out to you, journalists, that people should come to their head, even when they ought to be at home. Really, really very tough here. But as the CP said this morning, we are pushing it and we are pushing it real hard. Okay. Are you going to consider? carrying out this measure of strictness across the entire city. Yeah, we will be that. Today we have seen what the CP and these men have done. Intensive show of force going around. The military have really increased their men. Navy, Army, Air Force, Civil Defense, Prison, uh, Immigration have all increased their men in the team here. Because our, if you look at the curve of COVID-19, our own curve is going down. That means we are working very well here. So if we keep the curve going down, flatten the curve, then we are good to uh, reopen the city. Now we are doing very well, and we are happy we are doing very well. The offenders are really going to face the law. Many of them actually have been involved in forgery. They forged the uh, clearance permit here, and they all are going to face the full rot of the law. Thank you so much. your message to those who we want to bring faith back? No, let, let, let us stay at home. We have done two weeks like, uh, like yesterday. Today we are going to start in another two weeks there, which we will soon be drawing. By next weekend we are done. Ebuka, uh, AIT, NTA, all of you will be home, enjoying your time. We have done 14 days, we are doing the next 14 days, and I'm hopeful, I'm very sure, if we do it this way, very firmly, we are all going to uh, get the city rid of COVID-19. Thank you so much. Thank you.